What is Skip Default Checkout in Jenkins? Here's today's starting point. I have a Jenkins LTS controller version 2.361.1. We also have a sample repository. The link for that repository is down in the description. Let's go ahead and go take a look at our first Jenkins file. What we have here is a very basic Jenkins pipeline, and we only have a single step where we are catting out the contents of file.txt. Let's go ahead and go back over to our controller, and let's run job-1, which is mapped to our Jenkins file-1. When we take a look at the output of job-1, what we're going to see is we see the cat for our hello world. But that's not really the important part of this job run. What I want you to take a look at is right here at the very top. We have a declarative checkout SCM that is there implicitly. If we take a look at our stage view, we can see that we have a declarative checkout SCM, but that does not exist within this pipeline. That's because checkout SCM happens automatically for a declarative pipeline. Let's go over and take a look at our second Jenkins file. By adding our option skip default checkout to true, let's run the exact same job again. And this is job two. So when we run job two, what we're going to see is it's going to fail because we don't have access to our cat.txt file. You'll notice here that we do our cat file.txt no such file or directory because we never did a checkout of the Git repository. That's because we set the option skip default checkout to true. Now let's go take a look at Jenkins file three. With Jenkins file three, we're just like Jenkins file two, except now we put in an explicit checkout stage and we run the checkout SCM step. So let's go over to job three and click on build now. And what we'll see from the output of job three is we see basically what we saw with job one. The only difference is we just see checkout. We don't see the full declarative checkout SCM because we've overridden that by using the option skip default checkout set to true. And because we've done the checkout explicitly by setting checkout SCM, we get the output when we cat file.txt. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach out to us on Twitter at CloudBees. If this video was helpful to you, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to CloudBees TV yet, why not? Take a moment, click on that subscribe button, and then ring that bell, and you'll be notified anytime there's new content available on CloudBees TV. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video.